I used to live in a world like yours, with buildings and people and happy little scientists. We pushed back at the boundaries of knowledge, deconstructing matter and harnessing the energy of our environment to rebuild the world as we saw fit. Still, our resources were not limitless, and even with all of life's prerequisites provided for, our wants grew beyond the means of our production. Nations and leaders began looking to each other with envy, and it did not take our brightest minds to predict the outcome. Our best were chosen to carry knowledge into the future, launched into orbit, and cryogenically frozen to await a time when they could return and rebuild. Mine was the last pod to fly before some maniac pushed the button, unleashing a mind-chillingly uncontrolled cascade of disassembly and energy release. I cannot tell you how long ago that was. Nothing but the dreamless void of cryogenic sleep lays between now and then. The heat from re-entry is starting to warm my blood. I must prepare myself for what lies ahead. I wasn't the first into orbit, and I doubt I will be the first to return. Hey guys, and welcome to Post Finan, a modded Minecraft pack that is set thousands of years after the conflict that was described in this intro. I have been sent from the past via the powers of cryogenic freezing and, you know, this rocket here to sprint, come forward and fix all of humanity's problems or at least like fix this world and have it all ready for humanity to spring forth and take over again and probably ruin it all or fight and stuff. Uh, before we have to do anything, we need to find ourselves a nice temperate area. I am up in the extreme hills at the moment. You can tell underneath my, my map there on the right. Uh, it's telling me I'm extreme hills. So let's go in and grab some stuff. Uh, if you guys are interested in playing along, you will need the uh, voice uh, Curse Voice Beta. It's the, the new mod pack thing that Curse have brought out. To be honest, it's quite good. It's got all the different mod packs for just about everything I could ever want in there. So that, that's all great. Uh, we are going to grab all of this stuff. We're not really going to take any time looking at it. The only thing I want to know is that I want to have my blaster on the on my hotbar. Maybe some building materials as well, because building materials are always useful. Uh, we need to get down off this mountain, as I have previously said, and I think the quickest way to do that would probably be to try and jump into that water over there. Why, why wouldn't it be? About here? Yeah! What a great start to the world. Love it. Always, always good. Always good. Uh, can't drink any of that. Why can't I drink that? That's terrible. Uh, I should imagine the world is suddenly going to uh, catch up with us in a second and it'll be all, all jumpy around and stuff like that and that'll be terrible. Uh, right, so we are looking for a cave. Somewhere to... Ooh, I heard a noise. Somewhere to shelter, um, mainly because like this place, this place is horrible. I mean, look at it. There's, there's water on the floor. There's obsidian everywhere. Not a cloud in the sky to keep us warm. So we need to find somewhere that will keep all our body heat contained, basically. Uh, also somewhere we can hide from monsters and stuff like that. Right, what do we have over there? Um, I'm not really sure exactly what I'm looking for. Just just a, a cave, a large cave. Uh, the collection of water pits around are quite good. What's the red marker up? here. Oh, he's disappeared. Who knows what the red marker was, but here's some water. Always looking for water. Good good to have a quick drink. Uh, there, you will see funny things on the bottom left and right of my screen. These are my my meters, obviously. The left, I have my temperature and thirst. On the right, I have my sanity and one that I don't know what it does. I've played with the environment a couple of times now. I still don't know what that bottom bar does. What is this under my feet here? Um... This is a good size space, a brilliant size space, lovely size space. We are in the roof forest biome as well, so that, that's pretty good. There appears to be bad guys everywhere. Um, in here? No, no, maybe, maybe on the other side of this wall. Looking up at my map on the on the top right there. Uh, this place is a nice dead end, that's, that's a... You can hear that on the end, rock wall on the end. Um, that's nice. Not not really the sort of spacious apartment we're looking for. This, this, on the other hand, this is beautiful. I mean, look at this. What's down this way? Uh, should we bust out a torch? We can pick up torches after. Ooh, achievement get. Woo! Maybe we want a bucket as well. Uh, what have we got down here? We've got some gravel and a back door. Awesome. I'm going to grab some water. Oh, hello. Wow, that, that doesn't look at all dangerous. Um, I'd like to get down there and see what's actually going on. Can we update this somehow? Maybe like that. There we go. Uh, I could I could swim down there now, couldn't I? Ah, that's going to update it though. Brilliant. 
Uh, is there anything around that we should be super scared of? No, do we want to go down there and have a look? I mean, we've got a way back up. No, we, we should do that after we have found a place to live. Uh, saying that, I think I have found a place to live right here. Uh, and because of that, I'm going to get on with some questings. As you know, this is what we're here to do. Let's, let's, let's open it up and read. As you wait. Not that bit. We're not going to read that bit. Life rebooted. Brilliant. Uh, well, the reason we're not doing that bit is because that's basically the intro that I did. Uh, decomposure and synthesizer. Wait, why is this scroll down? What's going on here? Uh, the vehicle you crashed is nearby. Grab the most vital equipment from the vessel, the chemical decomposer and the synthesizer. That's these two down here. Uh, you are also able to find charge power cells. Yep. A blaster and some ammo. Yep, got all those. A bucket to collect some water and some emergency building supplies. Brilliant. You need to make a safe shelter and set up the decomposer and th synthesizer with the power cell. You must make great must take great care in picking a location to set up camp because you can't get it all back, basically. Uh, you've also found what was left of the food supplies in the safe. Most have gone bad, but maybe you can still put them to good use. Once you have set up camp, put the spoiled food in the decomposer and get some organic materials back and break these, day these down to make this lot. No sh what was that? What? Why are there gas noises? Oh, hang on, let's, let's make ourselves a roof. A roof is suddenly very, very important. Um, so I wasn't expecting gas noises this early on. I wasn't expecting gas noises at all, actually. I mean, we're not in the nether. What's, what's going on here? I don't... Oh, my God. Terrifying. Is it, is it up this way? Do you reckon it's this... Oh, 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 oh. Did you see him? Did you see him? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, how are we going to... I'm going to put this one across. Oh, does it not like that? Okay, maybe we're not going to put that one across there like that. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to put this across then. Oh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. There's going to be... Oh, why? Why? These are these wasted blocks that I can't... I can't really afford to waste. Now can I put these across here? Okay. Oh, this, this is dodgy. Dodgy, dodgy. Uh, maybe a little bit more room. Maybe a little bit more room. If we can support this across here... Like so. Yeah, no, this looks good. I just want to make sure that I'm not open to attack because that is terrifying. Terrifying. That there and then that there. And then I've got this tiny little hole that I can dive in and out of and hopefully he won't be able to come and get me. Oh, jeez. Uh, I think we also need to do something to fill in, fill in that gap. Um, let's, let's just grab one of these. Let's grab a couple of these. Why not? What, what, what could, why could we possibly, like... Why should we leave this? That's that's the that's the phrase I was looking for. There. I started that sentence without really thinking about the end of it. Why why would we not take all this stuff? There we go. Ten bits of. That's why we wouldn't. So <laughs> we made it really awkward to get around. That that's what that's why we wouldn't do things like that. Okay, let's pop this down. Uh, so it says we should synthesize stuff or decompose stuff. Let's pop that there. We got the decomposer. Brilliant. Uh, to give it some power, we definitely want that spot on and then we want to try and get these rotten foods going we've got protein that's good two proteins that's that's amazing got some carbon and nitrogen we're just just gonna let it run let's just see what we get let's just see what amazing amount of proteins amazing amount of proteins uh so we grab those out that's not quite everything we need is it that's not quite everything we need because in here it was also like hey you need oxygen and hydrogen now i wonder where i could get oxygen and hydrogen from <laughs> so let's pop that in there. See what we get. Uh, we've got a whole load of water. Going to break down the water even further. And brilliant. We've got some hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, carbon and nitrogen. Boom. That's all that done. I'm going to grab food. Because food, almost always, very important. Talking of food, if we're going to keep on living here and being super sufficient of ourselves we need to build uh well we need to build some algae uh this is what the our end point is uh carbon hydrogen and oxygen and nitrogen are the most bu basic building materials of uh, of course you need some other elements to in trace amounts to ignite the spark it is very important to note that algae grows best in shallow water okay uh chlorophyll is the life's most basic method of gathering energy from the environment with this compound plants can convert light into stored energy so we need to make some chlorophyll I'm pretty sure we can do this. We need the synthesizer for that, though. Uh, we will give it some power, as is always the way. Uh, and then we need to figure out how to make chlorophyll. Now, obviously, as the chemical genius that I am, I, I could just remember it. Just quote the chemical formula off the top of my head. 
but you know, for for all you people out there who aren't quite as uh, memory tastic as me, because you know my memory so good, uh, we're going to look at the chlorophyll. That that was all an excuse so I could look. Uh, we are going to go with carbon thirty five, hydrogen thirty. So if we click on here, we could check the chemical synthesis machine and it will tell us here exactly what we needed 35 carbon uh, 30 hydrogen 5 oxygen but if we just want to kind of be a little bit quicker if we hover over the chlorophyll you see the first line of blue writing that actually tells us there the same thing that, that gets told there so if we have 35 carbon um, unfortunately the quickest way of doing that is taking that away so that means we're only gonna have enough for one one carbon, that, that's terrible. Uh, one chlorophyll, that's that's rubbish because we need a couple. Uh, 30 hydrogen, what else we got? 5 oxygen, 4 of these, and one of these, and that should be chlorophyll. Brilliant, boom. A um, little bit short of everything we needed to do. Now I believe we got some extra ones of these, so if we grab one, break this down these are unbelievably packed with chemicals uh, I, I like I, I'm blown away every time oh look serine food effect saturation uh, food 2 saturation 1 gives us haste for duration 20 and potion effect jump boost for 20 I might, I might just keep hold of this one. Oh look this one also does stuff what never read these things before wow okay well anyway we, we need the stuff the stuff is more important nitrates don't really want to worry about too much uh, let's take these out even the iron even the iron I'm sure at some point we'll figure out a way to sort our buckets out again uh, can we take another one of these we cannot we're still short of carbon okay so I'm gonna cook one of my meats uh, this one is a 10% rot let's let's go for that just got another bit of protein that's... whilst that's great it's also a little bit annoying um, let's just break all these down through the iron in, got the iron back. Try and do something with the iron at some point. Nitrates, boom. Okay, so finally broke down all that stuff. Coming through here, second bit of chlorophyll. Brilliant. Cruising on with the quests. Chlorophyll 2. Chemical energy. You need some chemical energy to power the microscopic life you're about to create, at least until it can start making its own, which means we need to make some glucose. Okay. Glucose is easy enough. We just extract the sugar from the stuff we're doing, right? Nah, well, we ain't got anything to extract sugar from. Did you, did you hear that? There's a skeleton around somewhere. Well, we don't have anything to extract sugar from, so I think what we're going to have to do is build it up from basic molecules again. Uh, now, glucose, apart from being spelt with a U instead of an O like it sounds, should be relatively easy to make. Um, 6126. Six carbon, twelve hydrogen, six oxygen. Okay, we can do that. Uh, six, twelve, many clicks, many clicks, and six should bring us that beautiful molecule of life. My favourite molecule, glucose. Well, actually, I think my favourite is probably sucrose. Eat that stuff by the spoonful. Okay, so with the glucose and the uh, and the chlorophyll done. Looks like we've just got to make some algae. Now, I happen to know that we just need to grab one more of these out of here. If we just pop all these in here. Now, I can't remember how to make it exactly. But, once again, NEI, the beautiful, like, gift that it is. Protein, glucose, chlorophyll, in that order. Protein, glucose, and chlorophyll. Two protein, two glucose. Ah, oh, damn it, I clicked wrong. Two glucose and two chlorophyll. Boom, got ourselves an algae, and we have managed to finish another quest. Now, what are we going to pick? The silicon, the core of life. I think I'm going to go for silicon, silicon, because as, as useful as energy cells would be for my blaster, I don't really intend to get into that much combat, and what I've got should hopefully see me through that. A quarter of a heart. I've still got three hearts at the moment. We can start, like, stockpiling lives at some point. At the moment, I'm just hiding in a hole. So, uh, yeah, I think the silicon is the one we're going for there. And we've got all this all this algae which I think we need to try and run down and plant at some point down there would be great the problem is I think we've got some friends up top or you know just just generally around that are gonna cause us trouble should have left the back door open if we'd left the back door open we could get down this way but unfortunately I didn't oh I did ah oh, brilliant 
Awesome. Sweet. Could have sworn I filled that with gravel. Must have just been the front door. Okay, let's try this one, this one. Over there and over here. Perfect. Now let's get back inside before we get blown up. Oh, jeez. Uh, this way. Oh, look, there's a little pit here. It will uh, quite happily stop those guys, I hope. Right? Seriously? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we are many, many quests on. Uh, where do we go from here? Now, I think fiber in your diet is definitely one of the ones we need to get to. Uh, this is, of course, after I eat some of this rotting food. I don't know how good it's going to be for me at the moment. Yeah, no, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I don't want to push too far into the food stakes, you know, I want to I want to be able to set stuff up before I am actually like eating into my resources. And to do that, we need to do this. Fiber in your diet. Cellulose is an organic organic compound found in many plants and is a compound that makes it possible for trees to stand tall. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not, but okay. Uh, it's also what wood is mostly made out of. Lignin. Lignin's the, the thing I'm thinking of. It's also what wood is mostly made out of and can be used to make some vital building and crafting materials. Use some carbon, hydrogen and oxygen to synthesise cellulose. Okay, that is a lot of cellulose. I don't think I've got enough carbon to make that much cellul cellulose. Um, let's have a look. Let's c kill all these down and have a look in our little L NEI. Double uh, cell cellulose. There we go. Brilliant. Uh... 6105. 6 carbon, 10 oxygen. Okay, sick. So I don't have any carbon. Oh my giddy gosh. Uh, break down some proteins. Break down some protein. Yeah, let's do that. We'll take it out of here. Um, gotta make full use of everything we've got, right? Full use of everything we've got. Uh, which in. Is there anything here that I could keep? Not off the top of my head. Not, not that I'm looking. I'm sure at some point we'll be like, ah, oh, I needed that. Why didn't, we, why didn't we keep hold of that? But at the moment, as we're not, we're going to do this. Okay, brilliant. Uh, doop, 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 doop. So the carbon is six. That's, that's easy enough. And then we had six oxygen on the end. I've lost my oxygens. I believe that's right. Six. Ah, it's five oxygen. Would you believe it? It's almost like they set me up. Nines, sevens. Oh, I had a five in my hand after I did that. Would you believe it? Six, seven. There we go. Five. In the wrong place. Terrible. Uh, and then in the. Oh, and then in the middle, we need ten, up, ten hydrogen, which should be easy enough. We'll just break these down uh, like that ish. There we go, tens. I hear some slime outside. That could be dangerous. Could also be quite a lot of fun. Maybe we should uh, go and kill him. Can we go and kill him? We got, we got two sailor. How much do we need? It's eight. We are missing one. Missing one. How much more powerful do you reckon these slimes are? If we kind of bring him down this way. Oh, I don't know. I don't... I don't want to start like bringing guys in. That that would be a bad bad mode. I think what we need to do is wait for the sun to come up so that it can kill everyone, and then we'll see what sort of stuff we get out of that. Um, let's just quickly run through these one more time. Um, if we do these enough, we should get enough carbon to do the next bit. I hope. I hope anyway. Man, that guy's noisy. Man, that guy's noise. So that's our cellulose. Boom. Uh, then we can synthesize it into wood and planks. Um, so let's have a look. Wood is, of course, here. And we make it with two across the top and one in the middle. Twos across the top. One, one, two, one, two, one, two. Did you see that wheat there? That's going to be useful at some point. So we've got a log. Let's, let's check that. Yep, it is in there. Manual detect. Brilliant. Uh, and then we need to make a plank, which is easy enough. Do that in there. Boom, job done. Then we just need a crafting bench. Oh, and nearly, ever so nearly, set up in a nice way. Uh, gonna pop that there. Are we ready to go outside yet? I don't hear. I don't hear things dying. That's that's my main problem with going outside. Is I don't hear things dying. Uh, so what's next? We got wood. We got a crafting bench. I need to have that crafting bench in my hand. But it has actually. Uh, 
detected that I've done it. So I'm going to get some oak wood. Let's get some acacia. Why not? Brilliant. Sweet. That wasn't acacia. That was birch. Okay. Let's go and have a look around outside. See what we can uh, see. What we can see in the world. I don't think we're going to see anything particularly dangerous. I oh oh oh. I really just wanted to come out to. To, uh, check on my algae, but it turns out we're going to get involved in a lot of fighting. Uh, that's that's not great. We can just uh, avoid most of this fighting. Like, is he taking damage? Yeah. Cool. We could just do this like this, and then hopefully beat these guys off with my hand. I mean, bare hand beating off is definitely the way to go, right? This guy's got diamond, and lapis, and stuff. Oh, I wasted that thing they're trying to get rid of my uh, my aiming let's go around and pick up some slime slime's got to have all sorts of good stuff in it right yeah okay right there we go got some good stuff got some good stuff maybe <laughs> who knows there's a lot of things dying around um, don't see any algae growing but I think we have made an amazing start to this, guys. Uh, I will see you next time when we are going to find out what is what is held, what is contained within the slime, how we can go around and make ourselves some proper food. Uh, and I look forward to hearing what you guys think about this this series. Uh, let me know down in the uh, the comments. Obviously, first episode always always a bit slow as we try and set things up and, and get our, get our lives sorted. But I think from now on it's just start picking up. I mean, we, we've got dirt on the way. Uh, we've got some wood on its way. We Finally, we could probably make a pickaxe. It, it's, it's asking me to make one. So maybe we can get some digging on the go and see what's actually going on there. But until then, I'm going to kick back here, enjoy my place, maybe try and break these by hand or something. And I will see you next time when we're going to do all those quests. Bye!